I'm Judge Reinhold. I'm Major Tom. And I'm Diaper Chris. And we're back with Experiment 13, Resident Evil, with our <laughs> final baseline. The Halloween edition. Mm-hmm. Of the men- what do you think men- it's going to be? I think it's going to be a Dracula. Oh, I hope not. I hate Draculas. I'm ready. Oh my <laughs> lord! Oh my lord! Wow! That's too spoopy for me. It's too spoopy for me. Wow! My heart rate must have spiked there, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> That's Heath Ledger's Joker, right? All right. Now, have we have we all played this game before? Yes. Judge? I haven't played it, but I, I have seen it played. Okay. Are you familiar with it, right? You've heard of it. Yes. All right. So, so wait, who, what does the chat want us to do? Do you want to see a Chris run or do you want to see a, a Jill run? What does the chat yeah, yeah, yeah. say? Who's Tofu? <laughs> oh, he's a hidden character. He's the last and final Stars member. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's actually lo- he's trapped inside a computer. All right. Well, this is all a feint. We have to play Jill mode because that's where all the memes are. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And we care about memes. This is how we're gonna make it big. We're gonna finally bring the Resident Evil memes to light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ride that meme wave to internet stardom. Now this isn't the director's cut. This is the original. Which I prefer. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. No, I haven't found it. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Bravo. Look, Chris. It's Tofu. Now, if you've never seen this part, get ready to get spooked. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. are making elephant noises. The depravity of Umbrella knows no limits. Oops. I'm sorry. Oh, you're spoiling stuff. <laughs> Oops. I goofed. Wow, what a mansion. Hey. Hey. hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ah, I got it. Hey, don't, don't ruin the memes. <laughs> All right. Let the memes come naturally. This is right. cool. This, this is cool. the cast. Chris Redfield. <laughs> he shot a woman. <laughs> Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. He's my favorite. Rebecca Chambers. Albert 
Wesker. Resident Evil. This is cool. I know. I'm so <laughs> excited. I am. Uh, Everyone's just paying attention because it's so engaging. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah. All video games should do this. They should hire uh, real life people. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. I know. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. I like to think that you Stay guys... Stay alert! ...would do this for me. If I was lost in a mansion. Uh, what exactly? Argue in the foyer? Uh, yes, after declaring what a great mansion it was. Oh, okay. Come look for me. <laughs> I have an eye for these things. I'm looking at the baseboards. You know, I'm mm -hmm. looking at all of that. A dining room. Spooky. Now, uh, I, I said this to Judge. This game is basically an episode of House Hunters what? at the start. Like the first this? ten minutes, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's a very what astute observation. Blood. Jill, like, I don't know if we can buy this. There's blood on the floor. I'll be <laughs> they talk this. about how they want an open concept. Hope this because then it'd be crucial. really house hunters. Yeah. yeah. Let's let them talk. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Or like uh like I don't know, it doesn't have a mud room. <laughs> I like the emblem-based security system, but I think it's kind of hard for the kids to learn. <laughs> it's good that it'll keep them out of the man cave. Oh, wait till you see the man cave. Oh, no, it's huge. <laughs> There's also sharks. I know. Now, if you haven't seen this part, get ready. Oh, yeah, get ready. It's basically what Judge looks like when he's eating soggy cereal when I come into the studio. You're a monster. That's my business, all right? Let's go tell Barry about this. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! It comes. Let me take care of this. Well, <laughs> what is it? Kenneth was killed too, maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Guys, this house doesn't seem on the up and up. I don't know. Maybe there's more to it though. Okay, we'll see. You know, it may reveal that there's some hidden gems hidden in this mansion that may make us more it has great curb appeal yeah yeah that's for sure it's got, it's got good bones it's got good bones it's in the middle of the forest help me look for him jill and don't leave this hall for the time being all right bossy boots jeez very bossy boots burton now what do you think this area could be used for storage I just feel like it's just gonna, yeah, exactly. Just hold all my extra wedding gifts. Find anything, you to put the Christmas tree in there. Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. All your rock band now it's instruments. Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Oh, Tom, remember that. She's the master of unlocking. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We'll Maybe write that I'll down. It. It's a joke that stood the test of time. Listen, if something is that a happens, joke? Let's meet up. I think. 
I'm sure it comes up once or twice this in the. This time I'll be there. All right, Barry. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go drop a rope somewhere, you dweeb. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> Jeez. We're giving away all the best bits. I know. I'm just getting so excited. Now I got a big choice here. Do I get the map or not? Hmm. Oh, look at them paintings. It's true what they say. Money can't buy taste. <laughs> What's this? This is cool. He bit ya. Ah, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is a bad A with a capital A. Oh yeah, she's bad AF. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's fine. It's just loading it into the RAM. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> it's fine. The old PlayStation 1 is dusty. <laughs> you, the master of CD cleaning, <laughs> should use this cotton swab. Oh boy. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> now, I for one like the controls in Resident Evil. Yeah. You know, the, the, some of the other video game critics out there would probably criticize them. Not me. I can't get enough. You know, you, you gotta press back to go forward sometimes. Keeps you on your heels. Ha, <laughs> herb, man. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the dankest. Ah, oh, Tom. Oh, I meant, man. like, with the chicken. Calm down. You. Oh, I thought that was Herb. So one time <laughs> during college break, I needed to find a job. <laughs> so I was applying everywhere and throughout my job search, I ended up go walking into a GameStop. Oh, no. Uh -huh. And I was like, hey, do you guys have applications? Hey, judge, hold on. Judge, check this out. What do you think of that? All right, so you, you asked, the, you asked yeah. the GameStop if they had applications. So I, I asked them if they had any applications, yeah. and they refused to give me one until they quizzed me on my video game knowledge. <laughs> I oh, like really? where this is going. And they they asked me to name three Capcom games. Oh, no. And, and so I couldn't do it. named all three Resident Evils. I named three Resident Evils, and it didn't count because it had to be three different Capcom series. The franchises. And they refused to give me an application, See, and I walked let, out. Let's have a test then, Tom. Can you do it now? Uh, Resident Evil. Um, Mega Man. Uh huh. That's two. And uh, Street Fighter. Very good. Yes, I did it. Congrats, Tom. I'm going to go get my application now. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, nerds. I'm going to quit my job in the software industry to work at a GameStop. I'll show them. I'll show them all. You're finally gonna get your ideas heard. I bet the working at a GameStop isn't as fulfilling as it seems. It may seem like all good and fun, you know. Yeah, like it you, seems like there's the, a lot of glory there. Yeah, but I think eventually <laughs> you turn into one of these monsters, like the umbrellas creating here. We don't know it's umbrella yet. Oh, I'm right, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, that's <laughs> a that's a pro tip. <laughs> Now, uh, can you name a fourth Capcom game? No. I'm just, I'm interested in this game. I can, because it features the most BA character of all time. That's Devil May Cry. You ever see that guy in there? <laughs> the devil who cried? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he sounds pretty BA. Yeah, for sure. I never played this game. Um, can you explain what you're doing here? You're. Oh, yeah. So, you, you only get so much inventory space, right? Yeah. And, uh... I'm getting rid of the things that suck. Okay. Yeah, uh, the combat knife. I never used it. But what do you do if you run out of bullets? Ah, uh, you're supposed to knife them. Okay. But uh, you don't have that. It doesn't seem to ever work for me in the old Resident Evils. You know, in the more modern ones, you could stab someone. It, maybe I just never understood. And I never cared to look up a YouTube video that explained it because it always featured like two minutes of a guy, like introducing himself. Now, does Jill have an inner ear infection? Is that why she needs to watch herself climb the stairs slowly? 
I, it makes sense. Is that part of her character? I never thought of it like that. Okay. Oh, buddy, you're screwed now. I'm fine. Look at that guy's slow. <laughs> it's a good strat. <laughs> that way you won't be spooked if there's anything down there. You gotta watch your six. Oh, look, you're shooting the trolls in our chat. <laughs> this is for you, trolls. <laughs> I got something for you. The hot lead of logic. I think I took care of them. How long do they stay dead, do you know? Uh, forever. Really? Yeah. Wow. In the, uh, you know, the remake on the, the system that I don't wish to talk about. Mm hmm you know, The because, Virtual Boy. Yeah. Well, that, that one's a good system. I'm okay. talking about the GameCube. I like to pretend it never existed. Huh. No, uh, in the remake, they get up and run around and stuff, and they dance. Uh, but they, uh... That sounds wacky. <laughs> they, can, <laughs> they, they couldn't get the... They do the thriller? Yeah, they, no, well, they couldn't get the full rights to the thriller. <laughs> so they, uh... They kind of do, like, an imitation thriller. Okay. And it just kind of looks like the zombies are doing yoga. It's really silly. It was big when they did the remake, I assume. Yeah, <laughs> yoga was just invented or something. <laughs> the Dancing Zombies was a call by Miyamoto. <laughs> to make it more family friendly. Yeah, he said it. He's like, yeah, it needs more Dancing Zombies. I was like, genius, genius. They all, like, <laughs> all the men in the room. Do you know what Tom is referring to specifically, Chris? <laughs> no, not at all. There is a article with uh, the developers of GoldenEye, Tom, is that correct? Yeah, GoldenEye. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Why don't you, why don't you tell them? Yeah, they were interviewing the guys at Rare that were working on GoldenEye, and they said one day toward the end of development, they received a fax from Nintendo straight from Miyamoto, and he had a couple of ways he thought they could improve the game. He thought <laughs> it was way too gory, so they had him tone down some of the blood. That was number one. Mm -hmm. Another addition he thought he would make is that he wanted... James Bond to go to the hospital after you beat the game. What? And shake the hands of all the people that you killed. <laughs> so it would put all the death and violence in context for the player. Sorry, it's fine. So that was that was <laughs> they, they were like absolutely not. We're not doing this. Uh, and I, I guess they like still have the facts that they got like to this day. I normally don't agree with the the game development <laughs> ideas of Shigeru Miyamoto. Right. But in this case, I certainly do. <laughs> I'm 100% behind it. Yeah. It'll be really cool. Like he goes up and he shakes Oddjob's hand. Yeah. <laughs> all the shoulder, all the soldiers that he shot in the face. Yeah. You yeah. know, they just have like bandage wrapping. Oh. Hey, where's? Uh. Hey. He's around, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got, a, you got a broken copy of the game here, Judge. Or I missed something. It's the game disc. It's scratched. Mm -hmm. and maybe you, the master of CD cleaning. <laughs> uh, great <laughs> joke. Again and again. But anyway, Tom and I were talking about that article, and I suggested to him that maybe this game could benefit from the same thing, is that you shake hands with all the monsters in the hospital once it's all over. <laughs> that would be really cool. Like you just it, all the zombies, but they're already. Oh, you can't trust them though. Yeah, they're, they're in the try hospital. To eat you. Like they, they take your hand, and they try to bite it. Oh, we're in trouble here. Now, see, there was this part in Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater mm -hmm. where you walk down the river. <laughs> this guy with Metal Gear. And if you kill a bunch of people, all their ghosts are in the river. Now oh, there he is, Jill. <laughs> Don't scare me. That's what I was going to say. Aren't you supposed to be going over the first floor, Barry? Yeah, you're right. But just take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's forest. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Awful. I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Oh my god. Can you look around the first floor, Jill? Okay. Hey, Jill. 
This must have been forests. You don't have a weapon. Take this with you. Is this destroying your strategy? Oh no, you need that, right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. And it's more fun if I, uh... We're on a different path now, huh? I don't know what really makes things happen. Because yeah, I was expecting Barry to be out in the uh, foyer. Right. And he was going to say some silly stuff about... I don't remember what he talks about. These lines are sillier, so I'm glad you got these lines. Yeah. But I'm not sure what the plot impact is. I hope it doesn't uh, result in... Wesker getting his way. Oh, I mean, uh, the bad guy. Someone is a traitor. Is it you? It's not me. Okay. It's certainly not me. It's probably Tom, then. It's me. Man. Ooh. He's the expert. <laughs> You're wow. Impressed. You're a member of STARS, aren't you? Oh, yeah. You're Chris Redfield. It all makes sense. That's my actual last name. Did you know that, Tasters? Now we gotta... Ugh. I'm trying to... Yeah, we're gonna try and juke this guy. Dude, the thing about He's zombies... Got the thing about zombies, Judge, you know what the thing about zombies is? They, they keep getting younger. He's <laughs> <to> the same age. <laughs> You're gonna do a Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> no, no, the thing about zombies is that they don't have much much for brains. They got like peanut brains. That's why they want to eat brains. They need more brains. <laughs> Everyone knows that about zombies. Apparently, except you, who thinks Matthew McConaughey zombies are roaming about. I'd watch that show. <laughs> they say brains. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> no. Why? What do you want? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, what keep you going. You're you're peanut brain. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're stumbling. I'm giving the, <laughs> you're like a zombie. I, I'm giving the people what they want. They want to know about zombie science. How zombies really work. They want. They want to hear your Family Guy jokes about zombies. Mac Matthew McConaughey said that in some sort of film, I assume. And I definitely did not just rip it off from The Family Man. Nah, you have to pay for that. Ah. Not my house yet. Look at this guy. He barely made any progress. He's like you. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. Say that. Got me. There's, a, there's a page out of the old troll book. <laughs> yeah, you must be taking <laughs> tips from the trolls in the chat. <laughs> So, breaking that statue had some sort of point, right? There's something in there. Like uh, an emblem or something? Uh, it's yet to be seen. Okay. You're not doing it just to ruin the, uh, the homeowner value. Oh! Bro, chill out. Call yourself an Uber. You had too much to drink. Oh, did he puke? Yeah, he puked. He's too turnt. <laughs> he definitely was too turnt. I just don't like zombies. I don't care about bullets either. A lot of people think you gotta save bullets in this game. I disagree. Alright, you can do this, chill. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Safety first. <laughs> it's terrifying, isn't it? You don't it? wanna be in a house full of zombies and then fall down the stairs and die. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an idiot. Exactly. <laughs> All the zombies with their pea brains would be having a <laughs> laugh right. You'd be peanut like brains. that Olympic swimmer that drowned in the bathtub. Michael Phelps. Yeah, let's, that let's, guy. Wait, wait, that actually happened? Yeah, Michael Phelps drowned, but um, <laughs> let's give yourself a save. Let's see if we can do something about the stuttering. How about that? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, let's let's give ourselves a little bit of an intermission here and see if we could uh, make the PlayStation run a little bit smoother. For sure. Let's give us a save. I can't believe you saved those PS1 memory cards. I haven't seen a PS1 memory card in uh, they're all mad 15 cats. years. <laughs> they're all mad cats. They're fine. Uh, they're all right. fine. They won't, yeah, they won't mad give cats give you a lifetime guarantee. That's true. Judge just sent in one in last year, so it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> sent the mad cats. They sent them one back. He had escaped, right? 
right? And then you go to like quick save. Yeah. <laughs> On this PlayStation. <laughs> Mad Cat's kept your memory card and donated it to the Smithsonian.